Hey, what's up, YouTube? Curious HVAC guy here. And today it's Sunday, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I was a little bit bored, so I slammed a cup of coffee, came out here to my shop, and see what I could do. And I've decided that today I'm going to be tearing apart this little vacuum pump here. It's a little JB6 CFM vacuum pump. Now, this pump came off of one of my guy's trucks. It's been decommissioned, essentially. It sort of kind of worked. It's beat up. It's missing its base. Doesn't do very well, and I don't really want to spend the money to have it rebuilt. It's my pump, so I'm going to do with it what I want. And what I want to do with it is tear it apart and see what's inside. So let's get after it. First thing we'll do is take off the front of this. Now I've already drained out as much of the oil as I can. There will probably be a little bit of oil that will come out, but shouldn't be much. Hopefully it shouldn't be much. Screws underneath here. Very nice. A lot more oil than I thought. All right, we're back. I just had to take a few seconds to clean up my little mess there. So let's see what we got going on in here. Not sure what this plate is, some sort of protective covering, maybe. Well, let's get that out of the way. All right, so it looks like that's some sort of little tiny reed right here. This would be where it discharges our, our gas or refrigerant, whatever it's sucking up. Little screw right there. It's just sort of stuck in there with a thick film of oil. There we go. Yeah, so this is our discharge reed right here. So this, since it has this, this top piece right here, I'm assuming this is going to be our discharge reed. So what happens as it compresses and pushes the gas or whatever it's sucking out of it, this little reed will come up. And this piece right here is designed to keep this from like overextending from just blowing itself out and just bending itself in half. Sort of like this. If that wasn't there, it would just blow up like this. Blow up like that every single time, and then eventually it wouldn't work. Like it doesn't work now. Let's get that out of here. And this other one right here in front too. And again, guys, I'm not a vacuum pump specialist. I have a vague understanding of what's inside, so there's probably somebody out there watching that knows better than I do right now. If you do, shoot me some comments. I'm okay with it. Yeah, down inside here, looks like we have another reed. Another tiny little reed plate. Interesting. This looks like it simply disconnects our pump section from our motor section. 
Mm -hmm. Here is, here is something. Maybe get this apart so I can get to the insides. Maybe something like that. Sure. Now, obviously, guys, I could have read up on this and pretended to be some sort of vacuum pump genius when I made this video, but it really wouldn't be fair because I would sort of be lying to you guys and pretending like I am some sort of vacuum pump genius when I'm really not. I'm literally only doing this because I'm curious to see what's inside. I assume they made some sort of puzzle out of it. Well, when all else fails, hit it with a hammer. I can't seem to get this pump part, I guess you will, to uh, separate from the shaft. Just doesn't want to come loose. There we go. There's our little motor here. Got your on off switch, capacitor. Oh, never knew there was just a simple little, little plastic um, spline connector. It looks like we have a little Allen screw in there all right hmm. well but there is a little burr that's stuck on the shaft so i'm really just going to destroy it just to get it off here fight but we got her take a second to clean up my freaking mess all right guys got my mess cleaned up also had to wait for the train to go by because I live right next to a train track and it's super annoying sometimes so we have our what I assume is our pump assembly, which is now more like a puzzle piece than anything else. Very slippery. Yes, it's a, it's a rotary, rotary pump. Yeah, interesting. Well, that is pretty cool. Let's see if I can put this sorted together for you guys. So if you look at this, these little, I guess, slats of metal, I'm sure they have a technical term for them, but I don't know what they are. Because again, I'm not a vacuum pump specialist, so 
I'm just curious about what's inside of things. So as this motor turns, and again, this is where our motor would be on this side. So we're getting sort of an inside view. So now this is just how it would be inside the machine. We connect right in there, our motor spinning. These things kick out by what I assume centripetal force. So our vacuum port right back here, sucking in through this into the back side of this, which is right here. And this, again, I believe is spinning so fast that centripetal force is gonna kick these out, create that seal around this outer edge, and then push it out the front like this. And then once it comes out the front, it's gonna come up through the top here, this hole right here, and it's gonna go through there into our handle and exit the machine. That's what I think is going on here. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Again, I'm not a vacuum pump specialist, so I don't know all the terminology for any of this crap. But if you do, shoot me an email so I'm a little bit smarter. All right? Put the uh, email right down here. All right, guys? Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.